Now you will read lines 17 through 43 from To the Memory of My Beloved, the, the author, Mr. William Shakespeare. Start at, I therefore will begin, soul of the age, and stop at, he was not of an age, but for all time. As you read, consider the reading focus. What is the subject of the poem? What is the author's tone toward the subject? Also, as you read, I want you to consider the following. What is the purpose of an elegy? How does this poem fit this purpose? What does Johnson say about Shakespeare in this poem? Is Johnson's tone toward Shakespeare positive or negative? What details in the poem support your answer? Now, reread lines 17 through 43 of To the Memory of My Beloved, the author, Mr. William Shakespeare. As you read, annotate the text for lines that connect to the claim that McCluskey makes in After 450 Years, we still don't know the true value of Shakespeare. To complete this activity, you will need to use the annotation reference guide found in today's lesson. You will also need to record important notes in your reading response journal. As you complete this activity, consider the following. What was McCluskey's claim about Shakespeare's legacy? What lines in Ben Jonson's poem reflect a similar opinion? What positive things does Jonson note about Shakespeare in the poem? You will have five minutes to complete this activity. Now you will develop your response to the questions to evaluate the effects of To the Memory of My Beloved, the author, Mr. William Sh Mr. Shakespeare. Then you will share your response through Nearpod. You will support your response with evidence from the text. What is the tone that the author of the poem has toward Shakespeare? What lines from the poem reflect this tone? You will have five minutes to complete this activity. <laughs> 